you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to develop the meta sim that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen now the first thing we have to do we have to reproduce that particular figure in order to develop the figure now the first thing we have to do is to draw our vertical and horizontal line in this fashion right and you draw your horizontal line in this fashion you can see that now once you have done that then the next thing is to draw this represents the base of what of the triangle because we are developing what a cone right and the symbol you see at the base here is making us understand that it is what it is circular that's why it's diameter so i'm going to take half of it half of the figure and that is 32 so when i take half of 32 it's going to give me 64 so when i place it here I'm going to just mark left and what and right. Is that taken? Then I am going to what? Ticking it. That represents the piece of the cone. You can see that. And the height is given to be 64. So I am going to measure 64 from 0 what this is 60 64 is this and i will now join this apex point to this end to my faint line and this apex point to this end with my faint line so the moment i have done that we are now told that we had to count or measure that it from the axis of this cone towards the right right that is from here to here so if i should measure 38 from zero this is uh 35 36 this 38 here right and i will project it up faint line vertically a little bit this way and i'll now measure what radius of um, distance of what 54 from that base there so measure 54 from 0 to what? 254. This is 50, 54. Can you see that? So from this point here, right, I will measure radius of 50 here, 0 to 50. And I'll place it at where they meet here. And I'm going to strike an arc in this fashion. So this arc you see is where my cone is truncated at a radius of what 50, right? So I'm going to take in all the sides, which is what we need. This is what we need. Then take in this one too. So this is what we have here. So we want to develop this. So, so if I should see here should be my point A, right? I should be able to pick another point A at any given distance here. I can decide to see this point here should be my point A. All together. Then I will draw a vertical line from that point A in this fashion. Can you see that? And also, let me take this up a little bit so you see what I'm trying to talk about. And I'll now take the radius off and the code here to be my point 0.1 or point 0.0. So from A to 0 will be from A to 0 here. So I'll draw an arc this way. Faint line. I 
catch you that with this point here is my point what my point zero so a to zero a to zero now the next thing i'm going to do is also draw a similar arc here between the base of the cone in this fashion hope you can see faint line this is the radius here so let me just extend this this way so with the same radius i used to draw the arc i'll place it at this point here i'll cut left and right place it at this end here i'm going to mark here also place at this end here i'm going to mark here also so those points this is zero here will be one two three four five and six so i'll move this point towards the center of the cone so from here i have this make it this way from here i have this then i have this then i have this Then I have this. Can you see that? Now, after I've done that, since I divide it into 6, I'll divide it into 6 also. That is 12. Right? Because then if the semicircle of a circle is divided into 6 times the entire circle will be into 12. So I'll take any of this distance, beta between any of these two division. I'll come here this 0. This will be 1. This will be 2. This will be 3, this will be 4, this will be 5, right? This will be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Hope you can see that. Then I'm going to generate my point towards point A this way. towards my this way towards my Hope you can see that now there are different ways you can actually come about this now since you've done that you generate all these points here to touch the base of the circle using the help of your c square you draw perpendicular line upward this is my, my t square here placing it on my c square and i'll get this draw this and this two And these two and these two. Hope you can see that. So don't forget zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now I'll project each of these points towards the apex point. This to this, this to this this to this and this to this you see that just like i move all this towards the apex point apex point is a apex point here is also what is also a are we there so now the next thing we'll do is to start moving now if i move from zero to this point right then on the line of what zero so i'll come on the line of zero i will mark here and i'll mark here on the line of zero if i come again from point a I'll come to the next point on line one 
this is line of one so i'll come to point a and i'll mark on the line of one here and here if i come from point a to the line of two this is the line of two here i'll come on point a i'll mark on the line of two up here and here line of two then if i come from point a also to the line of three here where they intersect i'll come to the point a and i'll mark on the line of three at this point and at this point if i come from point a to the line of four at this point here this is the line of four i'll come on a here i'll mark on the line of four here and here and if i come from point a to the line of five which is here can you see that I'll come to point A and I'll come and mark on the line of what? The line of 5. So this is 5 here and this is 5. Then the last point is the point 6 here. Can you see that? I'll come to this point and I'll mark on point 6. This is the line of 6. And I'll use my French curve. First of all, let me just bring this out. If you can use your handle, use your French curve. Use your hand if you use your French curve. Hope you can see that. And also, you can use your hand here. Or use your French curve. It's always better to use what? The French curve. I hope you can see that. The reason to use a French curve and you connect those points together. So this is the development of this meta sheet here. And it's a cone that is truncated at an angle at the rate with a rate of what 50 millimeter. So if you found this helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.